Hello and welcome. This is Elanza News. On Tuesday, in what appears to be reprisals over the xenophobic attacks which started in South Africa over the weekend, some Nigerians in the city of Lagos, Ibadan and Abuja stormed business outlets and telecom firms believed to be owned by South Africans. What started as protest over the killings in South Africa later evolved into mass lootings and destructions of properties and goods belonging to these business firms. However, rapid response by the Nigerian police led to the arrest of dozens in connection to this act. Some officials in government quarters repeatedly condemned the reprisals, insisting such attacks would only hurt Nigerians working in the affected firms. Nigerian police on Wednesday stated that security is beefed up around all South African businesses in Nigeria. Elasa TV, however, took to the streets to ascertain the views of some concerned Nigerians in Kaduna State. With situations now calm and tensions doused in different parts of the country compared to what it was last week, we are here live in Angwan Sunday to ascertain the views of individual Nigerians over the xenophobic killings in South Africa. Many Nigerians have this to say. Nigeria is a giant of Africa. So we don't need to say, ah, we have to start killing. Even though, even though they have a citizen in this country, we should show maturity by saying we are not going to kill them. The people that are doing that there, they are still behaving like the Bush people of those days when Mandela was alive. Sincerely speaking, man, the killings of we Nigerians in South Africa is uncalled for. Because I see no reason why our fellow human being like us, we have the effort to put flame on his own fellow human being's body. It's uncalled for. Just even normally, biblically, it's uncalled for. Very, very wrong. I never support such killing because no, 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 no. It will never give you effort as in to go out, as in to travel out, to see if you can get your lifetime something in that country. Because even me, if you give me free visa to South Africa, and I'm not going. Because it's just an example because I believe they will do more. Any Nigerian man where they catch, say, he commits something, they should they, let them carry the person to the their uh, 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 court or police uh, district, not to kill the person. I see uh, the government doing nothing about that because they're supposed to take action immediately. Immediately the attack is supposed to take action or have a seat with the uh, South African government. So that, you know, that uh, really help matters. But I see uh, the African Union, they also say something about that because they are I don't think it's possible because compensating uh, people, it's a lot of money they lost there. Nigerians lost, uh, Nigerians lost a lot of money. Other African countries also lost a lot of money. So I don't think uh, they will be able to do that. So the only thing is just that to have a seat with the government to resolve that issue. These are more are the opinions of many concerned Nigerians over the killings and reprisals. Two wrongs, they say, can never make a right. From Kaduna, Abel Kure reporting for Elanza News TV. Elanza News, know it as it unfolds.